Hi there. The next section that we're going to be doing is on pronouns again. Uh, two more things about pronouns. Um, first, indefinite pronouns and then pronoun shifts, as you can see from the board over here. I tried not to write where there is a bright light. We'll see. Um, indefinite pronouns don't stand for specific nouns. Here are some examples on the far right side there. Those are all singular. Um, in, anybody, anyone, anything. That's what that means over there. Another, each, everybody, everyone, everything. None, nobody, no one, no thing, nothing. One, somebody, someone, something. All of these are singular. Actually, the word none can either be singular or plural. I don't know how I got there. It should be over here. Um, I mean, obviously, I know how I got there. I wrote it, but uh, most are singular. Some are plural. So these are plural. Both, few, many, others, and several. Okay, there might be some more. Those are the ones I thought of. Um, some can be singular or plural, like this. All, any, most, more, none, and some. Like I said, none can be either singular or plural, depending upon the context. Um, here we have all of the milk is gone, all of the cookies are too. So when you are talking about a non-count noun like milk, you would use the singular form. So all of the milk is gone. And if you are talking about something that is a count noun and it's plural, then you would need to um, use the plural to go with the, the antecedent. So all of the cookies are too. If you're talking about a singular noun that's a count noun, for example, pizza, all of the pizza, you'd still need to look at what we're talking about. So pizza there is singular. If I said all of the pizzas, that would be plural. You see what I mean? Okay. So that should be pretty clear and you can copy down these lists. Maybe that will help you. Um, a pronoun shift is when a writer changes pronouns midstream. That could be mid-sentence, that could be mid-paragraph, that could be while you're writing a book <laughs> um, and you change pronouns halfway through the book. And that happens even with professional writers sometimes. They don't realize what they're doing. Um, and especially with you and I who are not professional writers who don't get paid to write. Um, it's confusing, uh, it should be corrected. So here's an example. All of the students brought their books because you have to or you'll get points taken off. So we started in third person and then we switched to second person. This is called a shift in person. So what you need to do is change either the there to your or you need to change the second person stuff into something third person because um, it's confusing. And it's not that confusing in this sentence, but there are times when I'm reading some people's writing and I don't know what you're talking about because you changed pronouns. Are we still talking about the same thing or not? So try to keep your pronouns consistent with what you're writing. This is correct. All of the students brought their books because if they didn't, they would get points taken off, okay? So now we have there and they and they, and it's all third person. Shifts may be in person, in number, and or gender. So, uh, for example, if you begin to write in first person plural, stay in it. And I have an example here of, a, of correcting that error. Whoa, 